Now the Israelites did evil in the sight of the Lord, so the Lord released them into the hands of Eglon, king of Moab. The king persuaded the Ammonites and the Amalekites to join him. Eglon came and attacked Israel, and they took possession of the city of Palms. The Israelites served King Eglon of Moab for eighteen years. Then the Israelites cried out to the Lord, and he gave them a judge, a deliverer named Ehud. Now Ehud was a left-handed man, the son of Gera of the tribe of Benjamin. The Israelites sent him with tribute to King Eglon of Moab. Ehud had a double-edged sword about seventeen inches long, which he strapped to his right thigh under his clothing. He presented the tribute to the king, who was a very fat man. After Ehud had presented the tribute to the king, he went away with the men who had carried it. But after reaching the stone images near Gilgal, Ehud turned and went back to King Eglon and said, Your Majesty, I have a secret message for you. The king said to those that attended to him, Leave us. So they all left. Ehud then approached the king while he was sitting alone in the upper room of his palace and said, I have a message from God for you, dear king. As the king leaned forward from his throne, Ehud, Ehud reached with his left hand, drew the sword from his right thigh, and plunged it into the king's belly. He plunged the blade so deep that even the handle sank into his stomach, and his bowels spilled out. Ehud did not pull the sword out, so the fat closed over it. The entire sword was in the king's body. Then Ehud went out to the porch. He shut the doors of the upper room behind him and locked them. The king's servants then came and found the doors of the upper room locked. They said, The king must be relieving himself in the inner room of the palace. They waited a very long time, even to the point of embarrassment. While they were waiting for the king to unlock the door, Ehud got away. When the king did not open the doors of the room, they took a key and unlocked the door, and there they saw their king on the floor dead. Ehud passed by the stone images and escaped to Sarah. When he arrived there, he blew a trumpet in the hill country of Ephraim, and the Israelites went down with him from the hills, with him leading them. Follow me, he said, for the Lord has given Moab into our hand. So they followed him down and took possession of the fords of the Jordan that led to Moab. They allowed no one to cross over. At that time they struck down about 10,000 Moabites. All vigorous and strong, not one escaped. That day Moab was made subject to Israel and the land had peace for 80 years. No matter what the circumstances, all you need is God.